Hello everyone, my name is Guns of Deception, and today I thought I'd share you guys a ghost story of my own, and this story is 100% real, and none of this stuff is made up, and I don't know if you guys are going to believe me, but here we go. So, one night when I moved into my house, I was, I was only 9 years old at the time, this was about 2 years after we moved into my current house, and in my backyard, it was paved, and I'm in the second story, and the backyard was paved, and we had a small little shed there. And the shed was about three meters long and three meters wide, so it wasn't too big, but it wasn't too small. Next to that garage, we had a pool, which was about waist deep, and it stretched about two meters across the um, pavement both ways in every direction. It was a circular pool. It was kind of more of an octagonal shape, really. So, one night, it was in the summer, and it was about t 1 o'clock in the morning. I had an eerie feeling, and I was watching TV. I was watching, actually, um, some scary shows on TV, and I just got an urge to look out my window after watching one of these shows, and when I looked out my window, I moved my blinds out of the way, and I looked out the window, and to my surprise, well, not to my surprise, there was nothing there. I was just being paranoid, I thought. So I went back to doing what I was doing, except that this time I put on happier shows and started watching some cartoons. Now, about 30 minutes later, at about 1.30, I looked out the window again. The reason why I looked out the, the window... I still don't know, but I just felt like I had to. And once again, when I looked out the window, there was no one there. Now, this time when I went back, I decided to put some music on while I watched some cartoons to try to stop feeling so paranoid. Now, what I did was I sat down on my bed, and about five minutes later, I got up. And I, I just had to look out the window one more time. Because I decided to go to sleep, I, I just felt like I had to look out the window one more time just to make sure I was safe. Now this time when I looked out the window, there was something there. And it wasn't, I don't know what it was. There was a little girl right next to my patio, in between my patio and my pool. And she was bent over, not on her knees, but she was kind of in the fetal position. And she looked like she was crying. She had long black hair, longer than shoulder length. It went almost halfway down her arm. It almost went to her elbow. And it was black. And she was in a white bedgown, I guess you call it. And this really scared me out. Not just the fact that there was a little girl outside my house what it looked like but the fact that it was bent over it was crying next to my pool not making any noise that was the scary part the next thing I did was out of curiosity I guess the thing I did was I knocked on the window to try to get this thing's attention now when I knocked on the window it turned around and its face was something I'll never forget to this day. I will never forget it. It had black beady eyes. No facial features besides black eyes. And a nose. There was no mouth. There was no ears. It was just like beads for eyes. And the nose there, and there, besides that, there was no facial features at all. She had no eyebrows, she had no eyelashes, she had nothing but a blank look on her face. And when it looked at me, it gave me the stare of death. The way that you would stare at someone right before you kill them. The way a murderer stares at its victim. Just like that. And... I backed away from the window as fast as I could, and I ran out of my room, and I I made sure them blinds were shut, and I made sure my window wasn't open, and I ran out of my room, and I went to my brother's room, and I told my brother to look out this window, and 
when he looked at his window, there was nothing there. And he looked at me like as if I was crazy or paranoid. And I can't remember what he said, but it had something to do with being paranoid, I think. Now, I went back to my room, and I lied down, and I thought I was just paranoid. I got up and looked at my window, just to make sure, and not to my surprise, there was nothing there. To be honest, I was starting to think that I was really paranoid. So I went to lie down again, turned the TV back on, and decided I was going to stay up for a bit more, because at this point, my, he my heart was still racing, racing, sorry from this event and I don't think I'd be able to get to sleep anytime soon so I said hey why not watch TV until I start getting tired again so I turned on the cartoons I didn't turn the music on this time and now it was about 150 around then when I got another urge to get up and look out the window now when I looked at the window it was kind of strange because like I said, I shut my window and I closed my blinds. Now, the reason why I got up, the reason why I had the urge to get up was because I could feel a draft coming in. And I got up just to make sure that the window was shut. And I was sure that I shut that window. And when I went over to the window, the window was opened. It wasn't opened a significant amount, but it was opened. What I did next was, once again, out of instinct, I closed the blinds, and I closed the window, and I made sure the window was shut this time, and I locked the window shut so it couldn't be opened again from the inside, or the outside. The only way for that window to move is if someone were to physically move the latches to unlock the window and then push it up with force. So, now I was thinking to myself, I must have just left it open. <clears throat> Maybe I was just paranoid in the moment. So I went and I lied down. And at, I waited a while. It was about 2.30 before anything else happened. And I started realizing, you know, maybe I started thinking, you know, I think I'm just paranoid right now. I really do. And that's when I was almost asleep. I heard two clicking noises. And then I felt a draft in my room. A cold draft. It wasn't a regular draft. It was a warm summer night. But, and it wasn't windy, but there was a draft coming in through my window. I got up, and my lights were on. And I went over to the window. And my window was physically opened. The latches were unlocked as if I didn't close it and I knew for sure that I closed it and this part really scared me so I went out and I just made sure nobody was in the house and I checked around the main floor and the kitchen and it came back up and I looked through all the rooms in the house up here on the second floor and there was nobody there almost everyone was asleep the only person up was my brother my older brother and my mom my mom was there folding clothes, so I don't think anyone would have slipped past her. So, I went back to my room, and my window was opened once again. I closed it before, and it was opened once again. So, at this point, I was scared. I really was. So, I went over to the window to close it, and also, I looked out the window. And what I seen this time was the little girl was there once again. And it just looked me. It gave me that look. And then it ran. It actually ran. And the way it was running is the way that a little girl runs or a little boy runs when they knew they done something bad and they don't want to get in trouble. That's what happened. It just ran, and I went over to my mom, who was holding the clothes, and I told her to come here and look out the window, and to come to the main floor and help me look, make sure there's nothing in the backyard. So me and my mom went downstairs, 
and we started checking around the house and we were looking at the windows my mom opened the back door to make sure there's no one by the pool my mom also went outside and circled around the pool just to make sure there's no one there and to my surprise there wasn't anything in the backyard I'm I seriously didn't know what was going on I thought it was going crazy and she told me you know time to go back to bed it's three o'clock in the morning now and I'm going to bed now so you gotta go to bed I said okay now the thing that happened next is something that's going to scar me for the rest of my life when we were walking up the stairs my mom went up the stairs I waited back a bit about a minute after she closed the door I opened the front door and what happened next I still think about and sometimes even have bad dreams about it but I opened that door and in front of the door a few feet away from me was that girl with beady eyes, the long black hair, and no mouth.